Hey, this is Phantom Designs and Skin Dealer on Instagram. Today I'll be showing you how to make an edit similar to WoW Graphics. First, you want to import a picture by going to File, Open, and selecting the picture that you want to use, which I've already done. And then you use the crop tool right here to crop it so the player that, that you want is right in the middle, directly in the center of your picture. And then if you've already installed Topaz plugins into Photoshop, you can go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Adjust, and then I'm following the same skin formula that I posted on Instagram earlier. <clears throat> and so th for that you go to Psychedelic, Global Adjustments, Details, Strength, and 0 0.8, and then you go to Color, Saturation, 0 0.8 again. You click OK. And then you want to go to Clean and follow what it says on there as far as clean goes, which would be Crisp Style, Strength 1, Threshold 0. Click OK. And that's your skin. And then, so next step is masking. And you want, to do that, you want to make a duplicate of the original layer that we have here. And a shortcut for that is Command J. See that you're there. You have two copies of this skin picture. And you can mask by using the Quick Selection tool. Make sure it's on the plus right here. And the brush size significant size so it has like overing to work here and you just start clicking and masking out the background that you don't want <clears throat> and as you can see it kind of selects some of the stuff that you do want to keep and so that's when you use the little minus right here to deselect it and then if it's a little bit bigger than you wanted it so like if it goes off like that that's okay <clears throat> just leave it and then you can um go back later and erase it. So I'm going to skip ahead because this takes a long time and I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so now that I'm through masking, <clears throat> I want to make this background layer visible again and make sure it's selected blue right here. And you go to image, adjustments, black and white. And you can either leave it like this or if you want it a little bit darker, you can do maximum black. For this edit, I just did the normal black because it was already dark enough, in my opinion. You click OK. Next step is to make either, you can either put the texture in right now or the gradient, but I did the texture by going to File, Place. I named it as Block Pattern. Place and that'll put it right behind your player but over the background. <clears throat> and to get it full screen, you want to go you want to hold the shift key and then make it big like this so it'll stay you know in the format so it doesn't look distorted. And then you click the check mark. And then again you want to go to image. First you have to um, make it not a smart object which is, I know it's kind of confusing, but all you do is you take your brush tool here and click anywhere on it and it'll pop up with this thing and you just click OK. And then you can go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White, and click OK. And put it on to Soft Light. And so that looks like what it does in the picture here. And then next is the gradient. <clears throat> you create a new layer and to record a video. Okay, and then you use your gradient tool, which you can find by clicking the paint bucket tool, right clicking on that, and here's the gradient tool right here. <clears throat> make sure it is on this setting right here, and you wanna make <clears throat> one of your colors this reddish color by, you, you click anywhere on his jersey or helmet or glove right here, and <clears throat> that selects the color that you want as your gradient. Okay, and the second color I used was white. So <clears throat> the white is always going to be in the top left hand corner of your 
select selection here. That's pure white, and also you can do this little hashtag number sign, whatever you call it, and then six Fs. Okay, and then you use this one, and make sure it is on the this bilinear, a uh, reflected gradient. It's also called bilinear, but you go right here, and you hold down the shift key again to make it straight like that, and then you set the blend mode to soft light, and that gives you the, uh, I actually, I, I did two gradients, and I used the side on this one, like that. <clears throat> and then, as you can see, the background in this one is motion blurred, and so to do that, you want to go to the background here, filter, blur, motion blur, and whatever looks good to you, I did 29 pixels and the angle just zero so that means going from left to right but if you change it up like this it'll go um, diagonal or up and down if you even want that I, I thought zero looked best and that's what WoW graphics used to you click OK and to get the drop shadow on the player like WoW graphics is famous for you go to layer layer style drop shadow and you wanna <clears throat> set the settings to what you like so for this one I did the angle so it's coming off the right side of him I just think that makes a little more sense and play with the distance size and spread a little bit so to get it where you like it <clears throat> I did opacity 100 and messed with the size a little bit and you go kick you hey and then you're done with that and then also you want to create your watermark. So to do that, you use the text tool. And I have a lot of fonts installed, so it takes a while to load. And for this, for my watermark that I use, I use the um, font BBoss New, <clears throat> and set the blend mode to soft light. And you can do that as well, just by using. You can download this font from thefont.com and set the color to white set the color to white create where you want to where wherever you want to go and the, the font size is going to depend on the picture for this picture it was good for 25, 24 other times if it's a big image you want to do 72 or something like that just play with it see what it, see what it looks best and then if it's too big, which it looks like it is, you want to scale it down a little bit. Click OK, then move it right where you want it, and then change the blending mode, soft light, make sure it is on top. Alright, thank you for watching. See you next time.